Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to talk about Thunny, which is a great Python IDE for beginners. This is actually the best Python IDE for beginners, or those who are starting to learn Python. And why is it a great IDE? I'm going to tell you. Now, first you need to go to thunny.org and download it for Windows or Mac, whatever. And once you've downloaded this, you can just open it. And then this is the, the theme or the look of it. Uh, you can change the look of it by going to uh, tools and then you choose options and then here you have you can choose a language or you can go to theme and font you can change the the ui theme of the whole thing so let's say if i choose dark which is not that nice or others i'm going to actually go for the windows one and you can choose also the syntax theme that is this part or these parts if you want to choose dark, this is what happens. I normally go with IDLE Classic. You can choose also the font and the font size here as well. Okay, so this is how you um, change the look and theme of it. Now, uh, you can also uh, do lots of stuff in, in, in Thunny. It is very simple, very easy to use, but it's also very powerful. So you can go to manage packages, for example, here these are some packages you can also search for packages for example if i want to use text blob text blob i can search it on pypy and then i have it here i can click on this it gives me the latest version the author the home page and i can install it here so text blob is actually a python module that you can use for textual processing or text analysis i also have a tutorial on on this as well on my channel Okay, but for now, let's keep it simple. Let's see what it does. So um, the good thing about Thony is that it tells you the process of running or executing code. What do I mean by that? Let's say that you have a function, let's define a function, so like def, and that function, let's call it num, and num takes one argument, and uh, we can call uh, n, for example, columns and then what, is, what are we going to do with this so we're going to check if the number that the user gives us is an even number or an odd number the way to do this is by checking if that number the n that the user provides the remainder of it by 2 is equal to 0 or not I'm going to explain what that means in a second so if the remainder of the division by 2 is 0, it means it's an uh, even number. So let's say we return, or oh, let's just print it now, print even number, else it means it is uh, going to be even uh, odd number, because there are only these two conditions, right? So odd number. Now, we need to uh, if I press shift tab it should take me back it does so I need to call that function now like num and give it an argument like uh, 20 for example now let me explain what it does so it's going to take a number n like 20 or whatever we give it then it tries to divide it by 2 so 20 divided by 2 is 10 so how many 2's make it 20 10 twos right and is it going to be a remainder no because 10 twos are 20 that's it but if it's an 11 or I don't know 19 for example how many twos make 19 and I mean integers no decimal points 8 or 9 9 twos make 18 and there is one remainder to get to 19 right so 9 twos become 18 so the remainder is 1 and that means it's an odd number so this is the way to check if a number is odd or even now what is the process and what process does it go through for this to happen if I just run it by pressing F5 I get even number because 20 is an even number but what happened exactly for that we need to go to the debug mode by pressing Control F or just 
pressing this one click here and then you see it goes inside it takes uh, the, the function first it realizes there is a function now what am I going to do with it so it continues by pressing here F7 step into it continues and says oh this function has been called now it takes the function goes into the function the parameters it takes 20 so 20 is going to be passed into this one n so it takes it goes up to the function and checks now n the remainder of 2 is 0 or not checks it and the remainder of 2 n it puts 20 instead of n and now checks this condition by 2 what is that it's 0 so the remainder of 20 by 2 is 0 and 0 equals 0 so that is true right so it checks this is true now it is true so it goes on to to execute it what it what it's going to do with it it's going to print even number you see in green so this happens and prints even number and you can see here as well we have the local variables name not n the value 20. if i close this now uh, okay we should continue with it now now if I want to check also the the variables that there are I can also go to um, view and variables here I can see the variables num and this is the value that it gets the value that we give the function anyways now let's do it with 19 and see what happens so with 19 checking the uh, the function where is the function it's been called there is one parameter 19 takes it goes up and what's going to do with it it's going to check 19 the remainder by 2 is it 0 or not no there is one remainder so 0 1 is not equal to 0 so that is false right so it continues and goes to the next one so here else this is going to be printed and it does get printed here odd number so this is the great thing about Thony that you can see the process and how things are done how about a for loop for i in for example range 1 to 5 that is 1 2 3 4 for i in range 1 to 5 print uh, i and let's go through this as well so let's see what happens goes here recognizes this is going to happen so there is this range apparently one so takes one what shall i do with it to five okay this is the range now i'm choosing one goes next print i so it puts i in one instead of i and then prints one here then goes back again now it's two so i is two now prints two now then three then four then five uh, then four yeah because it's one up to but not including five so this is the great thing about Th thony that you can use it also has a very nice uh, easy actually shell that you can also use so you can open system shell here you can pip install stuff if you want to install some packages you can do this here as well and yeah this is basically it so uh this is a great pl place to um to run your code and learn how things are done this is a great place for beginners to start okay thank you for uh, thank you very much for listening and watching